Jesse was inconsolable. Yeah. By the time we'd contacted the vet, Weepy was dead, and there's nothing we could do, and, and she's... And soon, you will be dead. You and the dog, both dead. Well, she will kill you She spent all this. night in her room with she's the door closed. She's crazy for this dog. I know. I know. It's like a mutant. Fuck? I know. The thing was a brain. Down, so, you know? Just, Come on. I, Excuse me, fellas. Johnny. Yeah. Oh, just lay low for a bit. Uh, right here, Granny. Oh, this, oh. Is, this is Granny McLaughlin. This is Randy. This is Zach. This is my granny. Oh, nice, nice to meet you. Wow. She's winning cute. You see that? Oh, don't touch. <laughs> don't play her either. And don't bet her nothing. She'll school you. <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, guess who speaks Chinese now? Uh huh. Uh, you? <laughs> you got that right, why? buddy. Yeah. Why? Why do you now speak Chinese? Why do and I speak Chinese? Quite... Why do I speak Chinese? So I don't get ripped off at Don Don China Burger no more. So I can go and get the burger that I want mm -hmm. in the language that they speak because they don't like Whitey down there, right? <laughs> well, what? But they're still. You realize that they're still gonna know that you're not Chinese. Yeah, but I'll be like kind of like an honorary Chinaman. Uh, okay, please. Uh -huh. Don't use the word Chinaman, it's offensive. And second of all, I really, really doubt you, no offense, uh, can speak Chinese. Of course okay. you can speak Chinese, I'm his teacher. Of course. What was I thinking? I don't know, buds. Sorry, excuse me, you uh, you know uh, Dr. David Garneau, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, have you seen him? Oh, um, no. No, I, oh, oh, you're, you're in. Yeah, do you mind if I, I just, we were supposed to and we didn't and. Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Andy, nice Oh, to yeah, meet yeah, you. Seymour, Seymour Jackal. Good, good to meet you. <laughs> anyway. uh, good day. Yeah, mm -hmm. how about you? Working hard or uh, working? Huh? Very hard. <laughs> Had a client today who was in a pretty bad mood, so Ooh. fought me a lot. Ooh. You, you a doctor too? No, I'm a, a personal trainer. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I've actually been working out a lot myself lately. Really? Yeah. Are you working with anyone right now? Do you have a trainer? Oh, uh, uh, no, but... Really? Um, no, I'm, I'm, you know, coming up with my own program, sort of. Well, you know, you should, you should uh, oh. take this and give me a call. Speaking of the devil. Hey. Oh, uh, I'd love to to work with you. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, just uh, <laughs> Christ, what is it? I have a little hissy fit. Excuse me. Oh, I'm David, hit. you left your weights out this morning. I tripped. I almost fell down the stairs. I twisted my ankle. Been hobbling around all day. Not a good day. Okay, I think I've seen it all. Victoria's Secret. They're getting in trouble because, oh. yeah, they're Because of their scantily clad women? No, that's not why. It's because their scantily clad women are in too many catalogs and it's, it's depleting our forestry. What? Yeah, somewhere up in Alberta. They're cutting down too many trees. Oh. It's affecting the caribou. Oh, and probably oh, the Eskimos, cares. right? No, I don't. Yes, Eskimos, they eat caribou. So if well, they start depleting, right? Okay, well maybe, I mean, why don't they put out a catalog for the Eskimos, eh? That would now that would no, they I, probably wouldn't mind them using. I don't that think that would work, Brenda. Anyway, I look. I need glossy pages. I need to see well, my lingerie. You're on like pretty a magpie. Eh? You're you look. You're attracted to shiny things. I'm the customer. Most of us are. That's what sells. Well, who cares about the caribou in northern Alberta? Brainwashed. And, That's what it is. It's brainwashed. Well, it it works. And why are you wearing a scarf? What? We're, we're inside. You're like you look like you belong on the. I gotta desert. chill. I lose most of my body heat out of my neck. Thank you. <laughs> Guess you never saw Death Tents at Midnight. Kung Fu movies. I used to watch a lot of Kung Fu movies as a kid. I don't Raging remember that. Raging Claw, one. The Fire Rooster. Oh, Fire Rooster, no. great, great. I was movie. in that. Eh? You were in all these. I was wow. a movie star in Hong Kong really? so back must... in the '60s. So you must have been able to speak Chinese. Why don't you oh, sure. say something in Chinese to us right That's now? That's where I learned. Well, if I say something in Chinese, are you going to be able to hold a conversation with me? Uh, uh how do you know I can? I don't think so. It's in your cheekbones. It's in your jawline. You know more Chinese than Johnny here. Okay, th then what am I? I'd say, uh, Korean. 
Am I right? Oh, I'm right, yeah, Dan. Okay. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Pretty good. All right. So, um, you, wh where did you learn your kung fu then? Where did you learn all your moves? Oh, well, that was at the uh, Silver, the Silver Lotus Cafe in Barrie. Oh, it was Chong there. I he had these wonderful swords on the wall, right? Uh -huh. And I went and grabbed one. I went out in the backyard and he chased me and he said, "Don't you steal that?" I said, "I don't want to steal. I just want to learn." And he said, "I'll teach you." Uh -huh. oh, he was great. And he taught me all the martial arts. With the, with the sword and the, right. have you ever heard of the floating hooks? Oh, 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 easy, Granny, oh, Granny, <laughs> Granny. He just got stabbed the other day. You might want to watch his gullet there. Uh, well, it was like a couple of weeks ago now, but yeah. I had oh, a my God. Tussle on the train here. Yeah. Oh, that's something. <laughs> Tell me about it, I mean. <laughs> that reminds I, me, time the, I got into a knife, knife fight. Remember, I was trying to get your bike back? Oh, yeah. yeah, the Heaven's Devils, Heaven's they Devils. stole his bike. When those guys come after me, oh, did we have a, oh, a knife fight? Heaven's <laughs> Devils. <laughs> I'm talking about being considerate. I'm talking about picking up after yourself. I'm talking about, you know, common sense stuff. It's not asking a lot. I'm not asking you to do a lot. David, right? I'm still moving in. There's boxes and crap I'm not everywhere. Talking about boxes. I'm not talking about the boxes. Well, you're talking about the dumbbell. Yeah, well, the dumbbell's an example of how you live, you know, how you are, these habits that you have. I'm talking about habits, right? I don't want to be a maid. I don't want to start that. No, and I don't need a mother, so that you can habit. stop with the lecture. I'm just asking you. I'm not lecturing you. I'm asking you. Maybe you guys can do like a job jar. We don't need a job jar. We don't a need job jar. We don't yeah. need we don't need to assign duties. We just need to, okay. you know, okay. operate with common sense and common courtesy. Sure. That's what I'm asking. Right. right? David, PS, I'll never be as neat as you cuz I'm not a neatness Nazi. Yes. PS. Don't. 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 Don't grit your teeth and say PS, all right? Don't tell me what to do. You're not the boss of me. We go there. I'm just saying how we going to like have a kid and take care of a kid if we can't even talk to each other, apparently. Kid? Yeah, we're talking about adopt. We're talking about adopting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Sweating. probably have extra hot sauce running in your veins, eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. What are you hiding, Brenda? The scarf. What? You're like wrapped up. What's going on? You look ridiculous. Just... What? Oh! You, you got waxed. Yes, I had my upper lip waxed. Mm -hmm. I had a coupon for the beauty salon in the underground mall. You used a coupon? Well, well I didn't know they were going to use a trainee. I okay. can't afford I... you. You're in Yorkville, for gosh Well, sakes. look at what you get. Discount butchered. You got... Okay, ah. I'm sorry. A cooling agent, something you can they put, put on something it to... on. I just stung. I just oh. don't want to do anything to aggravate it. Mm. I've got a couple of days. It should go down before my date with Jules on Friday. Jules? Well, I knew where the headquarters were, eh? And I knew they had this bike, but how was he going to do it? So I thought, I'll get my knives, and and I'll go and show them, put on my, some black leather, right? Boots and everything. Mm -hmm. And I said, what you guys need is a cook. You know, and I know how to cook. Mm -hmm. So I said, yeah, show us. So I take out my paring knife, and I whip off that skin. Within five seconds, <laughs> I take the skin off one of them apples, you know. So and I take out my cleaver, and I go, chop, 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 chop. And they saw how fast I did it. So they said, okay, you're on as a cook. So you went undercover then? I was undercover, you As you Th do. That's what yeah. she's saying. That's what she's saying. And then she gave me time to, to look around. Yeah, see? yeah. And finally, I found it. It was this, this secret door, right? I picked the lock. Deft hands, eh? Deft hands at midnight. Right. And I got up there at the attic, and I found a bike. So he takes it down, and I'm going out the back, and I'm almost out, and five of the biggest guys come around. Come around the corner, Huge, right? Eh? Jack Pine, Huge. he's got to be seven feet. Chief Pine, Jack, Jack Pine, Pine. yeah, I guess. He's and then well, Snake Eyes, and they pulled out their knives. Little teeny eyes on either well, side of his yeah. nose. Or, well, I had the secret pouch back here, so I take out my floating hooks. I go, and bang, his hand gets caught up against the tree. Oh, you know, that's go the knife. And the blood's running down, right? Oh, no. no, man. Were you there? It almost sounds like it's a it's a kung fu movie in itself. It was yeah. like that. I, I was in the car waiting. Eh? I seen it happen. I was I couldn't believe it. I, I, I was a scared, but you were you were there, eh? Yeah. yeah. You did it, eh? Did it. You Besides, did it. Jack Pine was a friend for life after that. That's he respected right. me. Yeah, that's right. That's he takes right. his snowmobile wow. in now sometimes. Yeah. 
It's like the way of the samurai. Respect, hey, hey. honor. Kung Fu is life. Mm. Jules sent me this book of poetry, eh? Oh, okay. Yeah, at the beginning of the week. It was like a Sweet. secret admirer. It, it it's romantic. Mm. So he's okay. invited me over for uh, dinner. He's making val a veal scallopini for me and uh, some wine, red oh. wine. He's got some new red wine he wants me to try. Really? And are you, are you, yeah. are you prepared? Well, I'm bringing the rolls. I said I would because I've got a great bakery down the street. No, no, no. no. I mean, are you prepared? Do you have protection? Condoms? Because I, I, I don't I'm, think that's what it's about. We'll be having a nice dessert, and that's about it. Oh, I'm sure he'll be having some dessert. Okay, so if you don't think that this is about sex, because it is, why the um, lip wax and who knows what other preparations you? Just the no, lip. Yeah. All right. All right. I was not born yesterday. I'm well aware that being invited over to a man's home and him making dinner for you uh -huh. has potential to lead to S X. Uh -huh. Don't I deserve it? I mean, it's been about a year and a half now. You know. It's true. It it is true. Uh -huh. I deserve to be happy, don't I? Well, I'm just saying, nowadays it's hard enough for a, a, for a man and a woman, you know, to, to raise a kid. I'm just thinking it's got to be really hard for, you know, two guys. Because? Well, there's not going to be a mom. I mean, David, there's no mother influence. There's not going to be a mom. Okay. There isn't? What? <laughs> we can't do this. Ah, come on. We're just teasing you. Yeah, I know, but we know, women we don't know, have a stranglehold on nurturing, okay? Yeah, it's not like we haven't talked about it. Yeah, but know? what about the kid? I mean, the kid same gets a sex couples, dad. Same sex couples and, and, and can raise a kid just as good as... Okay, you know. but the kid's in school, it's Mother's Day, everyone's making arts and crafts for their mom. What's so? he doing? Well, the kid's he or driven she, to suicide. Or well, she. Or, or you know, she. Would make, a, make a, a gift for one of us. You know, there are a lot of there are a lot of single parent homes out there. A lot of kids without a dad who have to you know go through Father's Day. It's just one day. A lot of you know kids without moms, more so probably without dads. But you know, you, they deal, they cope, and we help them cope. Right? Same sex couples, they should be treated exactly the same way as straight couples. I know, I know, and so should the kids. But they are. You know what was a great actor is Leonardo DiCaprio, because when he was playing uh, H Howard Hughes, yeah. th that aviator guy, he was crazy, eh? He was a little bit off, but but he well, did, but, he, but he still did great things. He right? had OCD. He was obsessed. Locked with himself in a room, right? Went went on a spirit quest, like internal into his body, eh? and just well, like, that's like the time I took you for the vision quest, eh? That's right. Boy, up to Algonquin Park there. That's right. Oh, boys, I knew you know Jack Pine. He told me how to do it. Yeah. yeah. Left me left me alone in the woods for three days. Couldn't find my way out. Ended up spending a month in there. <laughs> you were yeah. abandoned I, I hated for you. a month yeah. in Algonquin. Yeah. No, no food. No water. No clothing. How Fuck old naked. Were you? How old were you? Thirteen. And when, you, what time of year was this? It was October. Freezing. Fuck naked. You realize I, that that's actually physically you impossible. You realize yeah, what know, kind I of a man so. he's turned into. He was a fat little TV watching <laughs> jerk. Lazy. And then when he got to be thirteen, he said, "This is it." Yeah. And look at him now. Tall, felt, strong. Right. Just because that month <laughs> being abandoned. Lost a lot of you weight. Talk, you could a use it too. You're a little flabby around the edges. You could have used one. Should try that. I actually have a son, Harry, who now lives with his mom in Jamaica, and his mom is black. And when we put him in school, I thought, you know, he's not gonna have to face any of the prejudices like they did back in the 50s. People are smarter now, people aren't as ignorant. But the stuff that he went through on the schoolyard, I yeah. mean, it, it was pretty rough. Kids can be cruel, right? Sure. Exactly. But, you know, we've, someone's gotta take the first step to break down the prejudices. Yeah, but it's there? him taking the first step. And yeah. you can no, take that. We're taking it as a family. No, that's, I think he's right, that's what I keep No, he's not. You just don't want to rock the boat. You, you, you just want it's to play the status quo. The boat. It's sure it about, is. No, it's about facing the reality of the situation, right? I mean, you have to factor that in. You're being too idealistic. This kid's gonna get teased. That's the bottom line. The kid's right? gonna get, he's gonna handle it. And we've gotta teach, teach him how to handle it. But of course, how can we teach him how to handle it when you can't even sort of deal with your own, fully accept yourself? I can accept myself. I am 
you know, I'm an openly gay man. I deal with it all the time at work. I deal with it all the time out in the world, you know, and I've accepted it. That's not got anything to do with this conversation. Well, Renda, as far as I'm concerned, I think it's high time you got yourself a piece of man. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just not that easy. I, I, I mean, I, I still love Doug and I, and I miss him, you know, wow. dearly. Mm -hmm. But I, I've got to be able to move on, you know, and, right. and become a well-rounded person. I, but I, I can't help feeling a bit guilty, you know, and I mean, he was the only person I was with for over 20 years, and it's yeah. not just that easy to get into the scene, especially nowadays. And well, yeah, you're right. It's a little different. It's way <laughs> yeah. more fun. I mean, women know what they want, and it's all about having a, a go get em attitude. You know, as a woman, you're strong, and look, you see me? I have a whole new attitude, all right? It's all about Shannon all the time. You need to go get you some. That's right. Hold the energy, hold yep, the energy yep, in the right hand. Yep, yep. Okay, flick and then take. Oh, take. Watch oh. out. Ah, oh, I've got you. See? Okay, yeah. Yeah, Whoa. that's okay. All right. Okay, great. You can barely yep, even right. see it happen. You should see her go. She once fought a, she once oh. fought, um, Kevin Phil uh, Kelly, Kelly up oh, in Kevin yeah. Bay. It's like a, a big sea monster yeah. that lives in Lake Simcoe. Eh? His head comes up out of the water like this <laughs> great snake. I've heard tell of the stories myself. That's it. So I took my swords down there. You know my long ones, nice yeah. ones with a good ring to it. Yeah. And then I wade out like this. Yeah. And then up comes the head to go. Yeah. You yeah. know, and he twirls around, wraps around my sword without touching it too much, and I could easily have taken well, it well, with the other sword. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a little confused here. You. Fought a monster? Like a giant sea monster. A giant sea monster. But why why yeah, didn't you kill it? With the sword. Why didn't I kill it? Why didn't you kill it? Tell why didn't upper. you kill it? Because I saw little waves right behind him. And you know what it was? His offspring. He's a daddy. <laughs> He's got oh, like offspring. Yeah. I wasn't about to kill a daddy with little offspring. I don't care how big they were going to grow. Yeah, of course not. No, I was on no. the beach going like, I can't believe Makes this sense. is happening. This is wonderful. Yeah, because you were there. It all happened. If they really. grow big, I mean, you know, you deal with that problem when it when arrives. It sure, right? Sure, they're not hurting nobody, right? I'll give you a break. For what? Make a smart up, see? For yeah. what? I, sorry, I don't if believe I your story. If I tell a story, I mean it. You're calling I mean, my granny true. a liar? I didn't call her a liar, okay? You're all thinking right. she's a liar. Okay, look, guys, I didn't say not to have a kid, okay? I'm just saying you've got to be aware of, of what it's going to be like. I, I mean, uh, having Harry was one of the, the best points of my life, but there were just some things I wish I could have protected him from. Okay, look, Dave, mm -hmm. just keep it on your mind, okay? <laughs> I'm okay. trying. But, but, yes, there will be adversity, yes. There will be challenges, a bit, but I mean, do you think that raising a kid would be a cakewalk under any set of circumstances? No, I know. You, you've got such a strong paternal instinct. I mean, you built your practice around kids. You're amazing with my little brother. Mm. I just, the kind of person you are is the kind of parent you'll be. You'll be a great parent. And somewhere out there, there's a kid who really needs you and me. So, here's what I propose. If you think we can move ahead and you not feel like you're missing something by not being a dad, then let's move ahead and drop the whole thing. Well, but I'm not saying I want to do that. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying, if you feel that you want a kid in your life and you want to be a dad, then let's fight for our family. Let's fight to change things. Let's fight to fit in. Because there's no one on the face of this earth that I'd rather do that with than you. And that's the bottom line. So, there you have it, kids. Good talk, right? Shannon, uh -huh. this is not about being lewd or base. Uh -huh. I'm talking about having my needs fulfilled. Oh, your needs? You mean like how you and Rudy fulfilled your needs against your minivan last week? You forgot you told me that. <laughs> that was just kissing. Besides, he seemed like he needed it yeah, more actually, than me. Yeah, you're right. This is what it's about. A balance between mm -hmm. romance and the asexual. Sexual okay? balance. However you want to say it, however you want to package it, you're in for a hot night. 
I'm gonna get me out. Oh, oh, some vitamin E maybe. Ow. Go get you some aloe. <laughs> You're getting it oh, now, buddy. Please. You're getting it Come now, on. Buddy. Give me hey. a break. You're gonna fight me? Okay. No offense, lady, but you're nuts if you think I'm gonna fight you because I wouldn't believe you when you told me you fought a sea serpent. It's true. Oh, it's true. Come on. Or did you abandon him for a month out in the Algonquin Park? It happened. Was, yeah, right, sure. Or, or a, a biker gang, a notorious biker gang, stole your grandson's bicycle? That's Why right. Why would they do that? That's Why right. not? You just, that's I don't right. you just I don't agree that it might no, be your grandson. There's no way it could happen. Okay. You know, I don't you know, know what's worse. It happens. The crazy hey, person believes right it. The crazy person believes it. Are you a Thornis McCracken? Hi, hi. Yeah. Great to meet you. <laughs> I was in Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Oh, Look, some new toys and kind of nigga tinyinga. Not in young deaf hand at midnight. Oh, come sung sung, 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 Red Lobots. Shikroima. How did you get to the case? Chenu, I'm going to go to the house. Shikroima.